All right, good morning, guys. Photo math versus Mr. Brosser. So for all of you guys that are using photo math and just cheating your way to success, if you call it that, um, I'm going to show you what photo math is actually teaching you to do versus what I'm teaching you to do. Um, so let's say I had n squared plus 8n plus 15. I'm asking you to look at 15. And when I look at 15, I want you to consider the factors like 1 times 15 or 3 times 5. And I've got to recognize that 3 and 5, if I added them, would give you 8. So I'm going to say that's going to be n plus 3 times n plus 5. And, you know, it, it's just it took me just a couple minutes to do that. Um, but here's what photo math is teaching you. And, um, which is a little odd. I asked you to look at the 15 and consider the relationship between its factors and 8. Photomath is asking you to look at 8n. And it's asking you, you know, what are the, what's the relationship of things that add up to 8 that multiply to 15? So Photomath is telling you, let's look at n squared plus n plus 7n plus 15. And then Photomath is like, well, what about n squared plus 2n plus 6n plus 15? And 1 times 7 doesn't give you 15, and 2 times 6 doesn't give you 15. Well, how about n squared plus 3n plus 5n plus 15? Oh, we got it. Because 3n and 5n add up to 8n, but multiplied 3 times 5 gives you 15. But we're not even done yet. Because now that I'm going to use this, Photomath is saying, let's look at each part. n squared and 3n. And let's look at the 5n plus 15. Now Photomath is saying, factor these two expressions. Well, n squared and 3n both have an n. And I'd be left with n squared divided by n is n, and 3n divided by n is 3. And if this was still connected, 5n and 15 both have a 5. And then I'd be left with an n plus 3 on the inside, because 5n divided by 5 is n, and 15 divided by 5 is 3. But now I got two expressions. It's almost like a crazy-looking binomial, because I got n times this plus 5 times that. But both pieces actually have an n plus 3. So I could take the n plus 3 out of this piece and that piece. And n times n plus 3 divided by n plus 3 is just going to be the leftover n. And 5 times n plus 3, if I divide out the n plus 3, I'm going to be left with that 5. And then Photomath also is going to say, don't forget to put that little x in there. Guys, this is what Photomath is teaching you to do. This is what Brosser taught you to do. You're not learning anything by just writing that down with that little X in there. Photomath is doing a terrible job of teaching you how to factor trinomials. So 10% um, of this video was my way of doing things. 90% was Photomath's way of doing things. But you're not learning anything here. There is some good math here. It's very, very sophisticated, but you as a 14-year-old freshman would not be able to do it this way. Do it my way.